What's up YouTube, this is Prince with ATP 101 and I wanted to make a quick video showing you guys Spring to Mize 3 and this is for iOS 7 and this got 3 bucks in the city store, $2.99 and this is a real awesome tweak, if you if you wanted the ultimate tweak, this is the ultimate tweak, this does practically everything, once you download this you could get rid of a lot of different tweaks, so as you can see I got 5 icons down here at the bottom and I got 5 across and I also got the cover flow going. So I got five across and five at the bottom. That's done the spring to my. So let's go into the settings. You also get an icon. You could disable that if you want to. Let's tap on that. Scroll down. And I'm in spring to my right here. You could enable it, dis disable it. And first you got the animation. And you could slow it down, higher it go up, slower it gets. Or you could slow it real way down. And then it also gives you the thing to respring. So I'm going to do all the changes and then I'm going to do one respring and you're going to see the difference. So I just slowed it down. I mean speed it up so my animation is sped up. And app slider, this is for your um your app switcher. So I could hide the icons so they don't they won't show up. See I got the icons down here. I could hide those. I could make the 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 the, the images that show up bigger or smaller I'm gonna make them 50% that's kinda small and you guys remember these cause when I do the respring you guys gonna see all the um, the effects and home action is basically the home page so if I double tap this page right here that's my home page and I could use that to do a specific action right now it's on none I could use that to respring so every time I swipe up on the res on the home page it will respring I don't want it to do anything but yeah that's that and then control center there right here I could hide the separators that's the lines I got rid of eardrop so eardrop doesn't show up whenever I tap on it whenever I bring up my control center eardrop is gone I could hide the settings so a little, little but whenever I respring you'll see all those I could hide the brightness the quick launch all those I could hide the dock you see I got my dock I got the five icons at the bottom set to 105 percent so that's bigger than it actually was and and I have five icons I could actually put 10 down there so I'm gonna put eight just for the I don't know, I'm gonna put seven just for the for the sake of this video but I use five I could hide the labels I hide those labels and I'm gonna make them real small so I got them 100 105 percent I'm gonna put it down to to 50 percent so let's back out of that let's go to folders I could use, do nested folder I could do pinch to close I could do the transparent background which I have and the blurred icon do not blur the icon blah 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 I got that and a fast open and fast close I don't don't have that those and I could resize I got a 95 percent let's put 70 and the rows I could do one row, you know what I mean? All that stuff I could switch up. Let's not get too crazy with it though. Let's get back. Let's go to the lock screen. I could hide the camera grabber. So whenever I don't have the camera, let's hide that. I got the slider original, blah blah blah. I got the font size 27. I could actually change the font size. I'm gonna make it real small. I'm gonna do nine. Nine is gonna make it real small. I'll do this one at make one big. Let's do 36. So one big and one's gonna be real small. And the pages, I could hide the page dots which I have hidden. I could resize. See, I have the icons 90%. So I'm gonna put those, make it real small. So I'm gonna put 40%. Rows, I could switch up all those too, but I don't want to get too crazy with it. The cover flow, I could do that. And for the dock, let's scroll down. The, the cover flow, that's why I got my icons like on a wrap around feature right right there. That's for the cover flow. And I could do reverse where it shows it in the opposite way, like it comes toward us. Status bar, I never really mess with the status bar. I could put a custom carrier if I want, but I don't really want to do that. Custom time. I put the airplane mode, the battery percentage, the alarm. All that stuff I could switch around with this one tweak. 
and yeah so I messed with all that stuff the older version had a theme where you could actually theme the icons let's go on here you could actually do the colors badges so I could do the badges change up the colors text I could hide newsstand see I have newsstand I could hide that and let's respring tap on that and we're gonna see the changes and it gives this cool little respring effect okay guys now that's we up and running now you can see hold up let me let me get it let me open up my my phone you see that look at that now this thing looks like an iPad because I got all the icons icons so small I got these a little bit bigger I mean everything I got the I got this real small with no icons below it I mean so I could switch up all those that that's what this tweet does guys and in fact if I go to settings it's kinda glitchy a little bit because it just came out let's go to settings where am I settings I can't even see these things no more settings settings I got subtle lock enabled so let me try to disable that if I disable that then you will see how big the the icons get on the on the screen on the on the lock screen but because I have subtle lock you don't really see it but this like the, the numbers and the date and all that the time and date would be real huge as you can see right here the icons are all small and right down here I got rid of all the settings preferences from um from the control center so that's gone so nothing there and I, how, how much did I put here I think I did six so I could drag another one down there just like that or was it seven just like that see I got all those icons down at the bottom with the cover flow right there with no labels I hit all the labels so let's get back in the spring to my eyes and set it up my original way how I like it done so the animation as you can see the animation is real fast hold up let's 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 go to animation real quick let's turn that down let's, and let's go to app slider let's let's not hide the icons and let's make up make them 90 percent let's go back control center I want all these back airdrop the only thing I don't want is airdrop hide separators yeah I want to hide the separators the dock let's see what did I do to the dock so let's make these at least 95 percent no, I said there's 105. I like those bigger than the regular icons. Cover flow is always on. Icons, I want five down there. So let's back out of that. Folders, let's not really mess with the folders too much. Icons, I never really mess with the icons except for the little blah blah blah. Let's go to lock screen. Let's put this at original. That's already at right, now Let's go to the size. I want to put it at 27. But you could basically do like this one tweak replaces like 10 different tweaks or even more. So the lock screen I just came from lock screen pages. Let's put this back to 95%. Column 5. I got everything set up already. And status bar never really changed anything in status bar, but that's basically Spring to My Two. I mean Spring to My Three, guys. It's the ultimate, ultimate tweak. And let's respring again. Does the awesome respring effect? Okay, guys. Now we're up and running. Let's unlock. And now you can see my everything came back to normal. It's kind of glitchy, as I said. But yeah, see everything right that thing has been darkened now. That's because I messed with the um the icons and the color. So the the page dots, I mean the update thing is all black. So let's go open up City and show you guys this tweak real quick. Let's 
type in spring to mice. There it is right here. That's for iOS 7. They got one for the iOS 6, iOS 5, 5 and 6. So let's tap on that. That's by Filippo Bigarella. And there it is for three bucks in the city of store. I can't really see the price because I already bought it. It's for three bucks, and I think it's definitely worth it. The ultimate tweet, guys, if you want to trick out your phone to the max, and this will be getting updates and just like that. So, yeah, there you go, guys. If you want to trick your phone out just like this, I use Spring to Mize 3 and it's Spring to the ATP 101. Hope you like this video and subscribe if you do. And yeah, peace. Thanks for watching.